welcome to orthopedic classes today i am going to talk about medial epicondyle fracture this is the medial epicondyle you have a fracture here this rather very often this fragment suddenly comes away like this separated from this epicondyle fracture especially medial epicondyle fractures must be filled proper treated properly otherwise what happens as you know the funny bone we call it this funny bone medial epicondyle the ulna nerve is very close to that and ulna nerve may get entrapped sometimes or sometimes because of the irregularity of this medial epicondyle as the ulna nerve traverses across like this that may get to be constantly there is rubbing of the ulna nerve over the irregular bone so they may get delayed ulna paralysis so the problem with this the only thing is you have got to remember is the chip is too small you can just take it off or otherwise sometimes what we have got to do is transpose the ulnar nerve anteriorly so this is the importance of this epic medial epicondyle fracture is you are likely to get what is known as delayed ulnar paralysis or tardy tardy means late typically there will be after some time if you look at it the two fingers on the medial side they will have clubbing like this so patient may not remember this injury he might have had it in childhood so after a long long time suddenly without any proper reason or any valid reason patient gradually go into this ulnar claw hand so looking at the ulnar claw hand patient will be wondering why it happened sometimes you may know the you get the history of previous injury to the elbow joint especially medial epicondyle this is to be remembered if you are suspecting that it's likely to produce this delayed ulnar paralysis the simple surgery known as anterior transposition of the ulna nerve as the name indicates the ulna nerve will be behind the medial epicondyle posteriorly so isolate that nerve nerve from on the posterior aspect to the elbow behind the epicondyle and bring it forwards that's why we call it anterior transposition to transposition is we are changing the position from one place to the other that's why we call it transposition we are not disturbing the original root of the nerve except for bringing it anteriorly that's why we call it anterior transposition of the nerve because we don't want the irregular medial epicondyle rubbing on the ulna nerve as we are doing regularly this elbow movements so we don't want that to happen so once we put it anteriorly there will not be any problem 